What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will test fix a flat on this lawn tractor tire, and I will show results over five and a half months. It's early April, and I'm using it for the first time this year, so it's super flat from sitting all winter. But for the last few years, during normal use, I have to add air to this tire every week because it gets low. So, should I add air to get this year started? No, let's test fix a flat. I'm aware that this is just an emergency solution for full-size vehicles to get to safety, and the tire must be professionally repaired. But my tire's flat, and I own a can of fix a flat. So let's give it a try and see what it does over the summer. Going through the directions, repairs and inflates in minutes, seals up to one quarter inch punctures, no jack or tools required, easy and safe to use. Recommended for sedan, SUV, wagon, and crossover. In step one, rotate puncture to six o'clock position if possible. This thing leaks all over, not required. Step two, shake can vigorously for 30 seconds. And here's 30 seconds of vigorous shaking. Step two, complete. Step three, tightly twist hose onto valve, remove safety tab. My valve stem is down at the ground, so we need to address step four before proceeding with step three. Let's jump ahead. Hold can upright, that's the problem. With the valve stem down at the ground, the hose isn't long enough for the can to be upright. I need to rotate this wheel. So I gave it a push, and it still isn't high enough. It needs to be rotated a little bit more. That'll do it. Now back to step three. Tightly twist hose onto valve, remove safety tab. The hose is tightly twisted onto the valve stem. And the safety tab is removed. Step three complete. On to step four. Hold can upright and press yellow button down. Do not shake can while dispensing. The can is upright and I'm pressing the button. On to step five. To press button and hold until sealant stops flowing. So here we go. Sealant is flowing and inflating the tire. And now it's all done. Step six, make sure rim is lifted off of the ground. Mine is, so I'm all set. If not, add tire pressure. Immediately drive two to four miles to allow tire pressure to increase. If needed, inflate to manufacturer's recommended pressure. Now, this lawn tractor tire is not the advertised application. It's not a full-size vehicle, and I'm not gonna drive it for two to four miles. So I drove it around for a while instead, long enough to drive two to four miles in a vehicle. Good enough. Then I checked the tire pressure, and it was at six PSI. I inflated it to 10 PSI where I like it. Now let's test it for five and a half months over the whole summer and see how it does. Here's the first check-in during the second week. It still looks great. It's fully inflated. Normally, it would be low, and I would be adding more air right now. And I'm still putting it to work, using it as normal. Here's the next check-in at week three. It still looks the same. No difference noticed. And here's the next check-in at week four. Same story. Still looks full. And still using it normally. And checking in on week five. It still looks great. It would definitely be sitting on the rim by now without the fix-a-flat. And week six, still looking normal. Nothing to report. Instead of weekly check-ins, I skipped a week to week eight because it's just always full and this is getting boring. So here's some action of the full tire driving around. So let's jump two more weeks again to week 10. It still looks fine. Jumping four weeks. It's still full with no change. And at week 17, it's still full and rolling. Jumping another four weeks and checking in at week 21, I'm replacing an idler pulley with a trash bearing and the tire is full. No change. Hopefully the trash bearing at least gave you something more exciting to look at for a second because we're back to looking at tires. This is actually the last check-in. Three weeks later at week 24, it's been five and a half months from April 5th to September 23rd. It's lasted the whole season and I don't see any reason to continue additional check-ins. Checking the tire pressure, it has dropped from 10 PSI to seven PSI over the five and a half months. Fix a flat is advertised as an emergency solution for full size vehicles to get to safety. Then the tire must be professionally repaired. But for $10, it got my leaking lawn tractor tire through the summer in this test a tire that I've had to add air to every week for the last few years and sat empty all winter. If you have a leaking lawn tractor tire, it might be worth a try. So that wraps this up. I hope you found it helpful or entertaining. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.